need to pray this morning, then I hope that you do, because I definitely need them. But uh, the Bible says, in the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise and go uh, into Nineveh, that great city, and I preach unto it uh, uh, the preaching that I bid thee, he said. And, uh, and verse 3 says, Jonah arose and went in unto Nineveh. And according to the word of the Lord, now Nineveh was a, a exceedingly great city of uh, uh, three days' journey, the Bible says. And uh, verse number 4 says, And Jonah began to enter into the city a, a day's journey, and he cried and said, uh, uh, Yet forty days, and uh, Nineveh shall be overthrown. And, and so the people of Nineveh believed God. Listen to what the Bible says. And, and proclaim the past and, and put on sackcloth and uh, from the greatest of them even to the least of them. For a uh, word came uh, to the king of Nineveh and he arose from his throne and, and he laid his robe from, uh, from him and, and covered him with a uh, sackcloth and he said in ashes and and verse 7 said, And he caused it to be proclaimed and, and published to uh, Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles, said, uh, Let neither man nor beast uh, hurt nor flock taste anything, and let them not feed nor uh, drink water, but let man and beast cover uh, with sackcloth and cry mightily unto God, unto God, yea, let them turn everyone uh, from his evil way and and from the violence that is in their hands. And, and verse 9 says, And who can tell if God, uh, uh, listen what I told you, will turn and repent and turn away from uh, his fierce anger and uh, that we perish not? And I uh, asked the question there. And verse 10 says, And God saw their works and uh, they that, uh, that they turned from their evil way and, and God repented of the evil that he he said, had said that uh, he would do unto them, and he did it not. And, and I thought about this morning how that uh, because of the wickedness, uh, uh, the Lord sent, uh, uh, he sent Jonah that way to cry out against them, and in other words, to preach against them. And, and I thought about today how uh, that the church has met this morning, and uh, you may not have it this way, but uh, we're going to cry out against the sin that's in the world today. Uh, I'm not going to protest in one of these great cities or uh, anything like that, but I'm going to stand behind the sacred desk of the Lord and, and I'm going to tell you today that, uh, that heaven is real this morning, that uh, hell is real this morning, and uh, in one of two places you will go, I, I don't care how you vote or anything else like that, but I uh, listen today that uh, the way's been made that uh, you can go to either place and, and if you sit around and that you do nothing but uh, let me cry out this morning but I'll tell you what today uh, uh, it be our prayer uh, uh, it be our desire today that uh, before it's everlasting too late that uh, you might be able somewhere to uh, call out on the Lord in, in the wee hours of the night or whenever it is that uh, you find you a place to pray that uh, you find you a closet that you can get down in and cry out on the Lord and, and let it all tell you what when he comes in Oh, he'll change you on that look in the way that you're going. And, and I thought about this morning how uh, that he just said that he repented of uh, the evil way that God repented. I don't think that he has anything to repent. I just think he turned uh, from what he was going to do to them uh, because they heard of the Lord. He made it to repent in there. And, and but if they called out on the Lord and, and they changed the way that they were going and began to look at things different, didn't they? Changed and, and I wish this morning uh, you and I we, we can change our ways and uh, we can make things right with the Lord. I, I'm glad today that uh, you know I knew that one time in my life, just like I told you, that uh, when I left out of the church house uh, that morning, I, I I'd heard the gospel and it pricked my heart and, and I knew which so I knew where I was going, but I knew that destruction would come after a while and if I stayed in the condition that I was in. But I uh, listen, thank God today that uh, He's willing and He's able to save to the other note. If you'll change your way. If you can change. Listen, I believe you can change the mind of God. Now I know that, that brings uh, anger, that brings uh, 
to make. Now, but, but if you read this verse right here, if you read, you said, God, they turned uh, from their evil way, and God repented of the evil that he had said that he, he would do to them. And, and he did it not. And, and listen, this morning, I, God needs to see the work out of you and me today. And, and you know what? I, I don't know. I've heard people testify about how when they were sick and when they was laying flat on their back. And, and I've heard good church members or uh, church members that I wouldn't where the Lord would have them be. I heard them testify before that uh, why they were in that condition is uh, because they wouldn't follow them after the Lord. And uh, we can back up one chapter in that book right there. And, and I'll show you a man that didn't follow after the Lord. And, he didn't do what the Lord would have him do. I decided he'd go his own way. And, and today, I'll tell you what, I will decide that in our own carnal mind. I think we want to do our own thing and, and go our own way. But buddy, I'll tell you what, there's a payday coming to you and me if we don't obey what the Lord would have us do. If we don't obey. But listen, cry against that city, he told them. And destruction was going to come against the end of the uh, now, buddy, they got their heart mind right. They got their mind right. And, and you know what? They begin uh, to act a little bit different there. And, and I'm saying that ain't none of us here this morning that's perfect. I, I wouldn't say that in the least. But, uh, buddy, I'll tell you what. I know a man that is perfect. And, and he walked this earth. And, and he went through everything that you and I did. And, and let him get without sin in his mouth or, or without doubt in his mouth. And, and listen today. Uh, because he was perfect. I, I can be perfect today. No, not that by these hands or by my strength, but I the strength of him that went to Calvary one day. Through him. And you know what? This morning I, I, I can be anybody can be saved. I'm not by the works that they do. I, I know they some uh, they some religions out there once get there by the works, but I buddy, my my good my, my I good works since that's filthy rags in the eyes of the Lord, but uh, Jesus is in the works that he did. It's what it's gonna take for me. I took it to a place called heaven. That's what it's gonna take. Hey, I come short every day. And if I wake up in the morning, let me let me let me be honest with you. If I wake up in the morning, I'll come short again tomorrow. Uh, but my Lord has never come short. I uh, know he's great today. Uh, he'll be great tomorrow. And uh, he'll be great throughout all eternity. And, and buddy, because that he did the work that he did, I can have everything that he's got to offer because of the work that he did. I can have heaven. I can have the splendors of heaven. I can have the joys of heaven. I can have, hey, if you want to call it a mansion, I can have that mansion. I can, uh, Jesus went to prepare me a place. I'm not that I, I, I worked so good that I earned that place. I didn't earn it. It's, it's Jesus Christ I plus nothing, I minus nothing. I know in between you don't have to add anything to him. He is in all of that. He is all of it. I don't have to put nothing with him. It's not Jesus Christ in the work I do up and down Greasy Creek. No, it's Jesus Christ. Uh, his blood that he shed on Calvary. Uh, that's what it is this morning. In him only. In him only. Boy, I'm thankful today that I'm going that way. Because if I was going this way, hey, buddy, I don't think I'd be going. I'm not saying that I'll live terrible or live so bad. But I just don't live up to the standards. This, and that is to stand in front of an all knowing all seeing God. Uh, this old man just can't stand there uh, because of the sin that's in this body. Uh, because the, of the thoughts that runs through this noggin and up here and things like that. Oh, I'm thankful today that, and that, that the Lord cleaned up a part. And it's not the carnal part. Uh, it's not the part that's going to return back to the dust. But it's that spirit that he blew in, that breath of life. Uh, he cleaned that up one day. And anybody listen to what he does. He, he made me one of his. Uh, uh, he made me a child of the king today. And, and I'm thankful that I know that I am. Child today. And you know you can be that child today. You may woke up lost and undone this morning. 
You may be lost and undone when you walked in the door of the church house. You might be on your might be on your way to the devil's hell. Now let, let me tell you something this morning. You can change your path. You can change your path this very day. Hey, you can say, hey, I'm going the right way. And I'm not going the wrong way. I leave in a doubt in my mind that, oh, my dad old Paul Wayne could have stayed in the same field. My dad he was in. I, even when the Lord came back the next time and offered me salvation. And, and as I told you, when my heart was beating down my chest, I, I in that old hotel room, I believe just as sure as I'm standing here, I still had an opportunity to do the right thing or do the wrong thing. I, the Lord just didn't come in. I'll be the one and zap me and say, you're saved. I, he came in and he wooed me and, and, he, and he talked with me and he was really at my choice of what I was going to do. Just like it is today. It's still your choice, as John is talking about this morning. You know what? It starts with that first step. It starts with the first step. And buddy, I'll tell you what. Now you make that first step. I believe you get a little easier after that first step. I believe that with my testimony. I believe that with the testimonies I heard. I've heard some of them say, hey, I don't even remember the steps coming to the altar. Oh, I remember that I got up and from there on, hey, listen, do you know why? Hey, because the Lord took over. Hey, you made the first step. Hey, you have decided that you're going to follow after me. And buddy, he makes you in a place. And I heard it.
grace to the least. I don't know what you need this morning. But I tell you what, I believe you in the Lord, don't you? Uh, I know that I know that the prophet Isaiah came back there to his guy and told him. And, and, and I don't really think that when you have prophets per se like Hezekiah and him and uh, or uh, Isaiah and Elijah and them these days. But I still believe we got churches. And I believe we still got preachers. And I believe we, did, we still got good folks in here that, that the Lord may move. And go talk to your neighbor. Go talk to your friend. Hey, tell him there's destruction coming after a while. However, he'll let you say that. Hey, it's him in the ring and they'll get thrown. Or whatever it may be. Or say you're the man. Or whatever it may be. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. And there's no opportunities. There's no second chances. There's no, there's no purgatories. There's no getting ready somewhere else. I'm sorry for those that believe that they might be able to. But as we said Wednesday night, when the, when the door, like the door of the ark, when it was shut, there's no more going on there. Was it? Your door will be shut someday too. Even though maybe Paul ain't good to cry it out to you. Maybe the church, maybe a good, good preacher came by cried out to you. Maybe a good one of the good church members came and testified. Maybe the Lord moved them to come. Testified to you. But you didn't turn from your wicked way. Now I believe it said in 40 days, if I remember right in 40 days, that he destroyed that city, didn't he? But they prayed, didn't they? Hey, your, your time may be, your time may be over. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to die or anything like that. Or, that I know the Lord's got the bounds of that too. But this could be your last opportunity. Return talks about how he heard that voice say, this is your last chance. You might live with 150, 75 years to do that. But the Spirit of the Lord may remove itself from you. Like I say, you may be here in this house this morning. You may need to pray. You may be on the on our FM broadcast this morning. You may need to pray. But I, I tell you what, you may be on this same Nick Scott back here. Facebook or whatever that's going to be, you may need to pray. Listen, you don't have to be in this house this morning to pray, but it's a good place. I regret that Sunday morning that I didn't, I didn't come up and pray. I regret that. I regret that opportunity. I, I'm just as saved as I, I would have been if I'd come. But I squandered some time away. And I lived on some dangerous ground for a little while. Good Lord, give me that next opportunity. I knew good and well when I laid down. If I didn't wake up my morning in hell, I'd lift my eyes. Knew that. You may know that this morning. You may know that. You're in your home or you're in this house. And the Lord came along. The Lord came along. And he bid it to you. You don't have to take Paul Lane's off. Uh, invitation. Uh, you don't have to take the church's invitation. I know we're going to give it. But, but you've got to have, you've got to have the Lord's invitation. You'll not go on your own whenever you want to. I'm sorry today. The book tells against that. It's not my opinion again. But it's the book. The old adversary, the devil, had me blinded once. Thinking that I could see death coming. I could see it coming out yonder somewhere. And I, I could holler real quick, or forgive me. And it'd be all right. That's what I thought. That's what I thought up here. But you know, it ain't that way. You dig in this book, you've got to have an invitation of the Lord. You've got to come as a guest. 
But it was last Sunday, maybe Sunday before I went there. We talked about the, the way he said my gifts, how they didn't have the, the garment on. Got the invitation, but didn't get the garment. But I didn't get the invitation of the Lord, and I had to accept the garment one day. So let me again. Well, listen, if the Lord's bidding you pray this morning, they may be some things you, you may have your name on the church road. Uh, you may be, uh, you may have a place back there. No, that the Lord saved you. But you just ain't being where you are today. I've talked to them that way before. I've talked to them. I've heard them come back and testify. Lord, let me get things right with you. I never lost my salvation. I just, I just wasn't walking with the Lord that Walking contrary to his spirit. Listen, <laughs> Lord may give you an opportunity this morning to get whatever it is in your life fixed up today. Whatever it may be. Maybe you're lost this morning. Need to be saved. Maybe the Lord spoke with you. Give you an opportunity today to get it fixed up. Maybe you've heard the cry of the preacher. That destruction is coming. Maybe you need to put on that sackcloth. And maybe you need to turn from your way. And the Lord to turn that destruction that's coming your way. He'll write your name in heaven and he'll give you some joy and peace after a while. Maybe that's you this morning. Maybe you're here today and cold and indifferent. Boy, I'll tell you what. You know, some people think that you, you can't backslide and Oh, I tell you what. Oh, I've been cold and indifferent before. Contrary. Contrary to his will and life. It's not a good place to be. That may be you this morning. I, I'm just wrong. Oh, Lord, I, I didn't come up the road with anything other than that scripture on my heart. No faces, nothing like that. I'm just going to follow the Lord this morning. Maybe you're here today, mate. You need to join the church. Maybe you need to be baptized. But I'll tell you what, of this good church and these good things, these good members, they've got the doors open. Willing to accept you. You don't have to, you have nothing to prove. If the Lord's forgive you, hey, the church is supposed to forgive you too. And accept you with open arms. It might be you this morning, I don't know. Maybe you just need to testify today and say, Lord, I want to tell somebody how great you are today. I don't know. Maybe you need to put on some sackcloth. I'm going to ask her some later in the pianist to come. And those that might get from this morning. Hey, boy, I'm I, I believe that the Lord is moving. Not, not only in the scripture, but I believe he's moving in this house today. Wherever it might be. Brother Arnold said, I believe the ones that. Uh, Said so they went not a lost person in the house. And the message was to the lost. And come to find out there's somebody outside that heard that. I believe we've heard stories of them listening and being able to get saved outside these walls. Well, I'll tell you what, the Lord's great this morning. I mean, he can work anywhere. And, and buddy, that, that gospel of the Lord is a go out. It'll go out. And I believe it'll make its mark. Give its mark. And we know by the book it is not return void. It'll go. It'll accomplish, Brother Terry, what it's supposed to accomplish. No matter how good that Paul Wayne does or how bad that he does, you can't deny the word that's in the book. And the word and the drawing of the Holy Spirit, those two things, but they'll go where they're supposed to go. No matter what you may think of me. So listen, I'm coming to a close. If you feel in your heart that you need to pray this morning that the Lord's called you, you come on as we stand and say, God, hey, this guy from us in the cave, said you surely die. Yeah, you surely die. Anybody else tell you what he got his mind right? He got his mind right, got his heart right. And he made it back to the Lord. And he turned his face to the Lord. You can cry out on the Lord today, too. And you don't have to be one of the great ones in the book. I 
I got a place, ain't you? I got that place this morning, but I ain't very old. I get right here this morning. As we sing one more verse tonight. What about it? You want me to say? I want to be I want to go to heaven. I know Jesus as my personal savior. I want to have you.
I think that the, the, with the condition that we're in right now, our good faiths are that it would be in our best interest to cancel our homecoming. It would be the third Sunday of this month. I'm not even sure that very many would want to come. Maybe some would want to come, but uh, I'm trying to be best. As of right now, it's not something I, I do easily. discussion right now if anybody want to discuss that in any way. 